48-year-old Akumonte is one of the thousands whose livelihoods depend on cocoa in Ghana. Farmers like Ako face enormous challenges, not least access to financing. To address this, Solidaridad West Africa, with funding from the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, is implementing the Cocoa Rehabilitation and Intensification Program. The project works with pharma cooperatives like Yapa Coco and financial institutions like Pan African Savings and Loans Limited to facilitate loans so farmers like Ako can invest in their farms when they need it the most. When, when you are looking for money to buy uh, cocoa for exports, the banks have tremendous expertise in that area. Uh, what is missing is funding for producing the cocoa beans. Most financial institutions see cocoa farming as primary agriculture. And indeed it is. Uh, if the rain doesn't come, then what? And this situation has been compounded by the fact that we also have climate change. And therefore most financial institutions wouldn't put money in there. Coco is Ghana's economic engine, generating about $2 billion in foreign exchange annually. Our market segment is the unbanked, underbanked, and the low income groups. The smallholder farmers happen to be a sector of that market, and so it was part of our general plan to be able to reach out to all these various sectors in the market. They are able to get loans, um, small loans, to be able to help them buy a few inputs, some seeds, some fertilizer. And for those who do other uh, transactions, especially the women farmers, they have some small shops, etc. We're able to help them also to be able to fund those shops and run those businesses. An offshoot of the access to finance program that Solidaridad is leading is the increase in the popularity of village savings and loans associations within the areas where they work. With more money in their hands, farmers are able to put some money into savings, which allows them to get even more credit to open their ventures aside their cocoa farms. These are the villages of Eshriwem. Farming communities like Eshriwem have no banks. This means access to money is tough, even if farmers had the means to have them. With money from their village savings and loans associations, these women from Eshriwem started this honey business. Yeah, the box you could see was six months be a near kui. A beton. Say it to me, box back okay in a bed, three million. Our box back could be a box on us here nine. And yeah, my juma. Coco no and my crana a one it to me boy say business car, I shall colano, school fees ne books it to Tomuniano, a boy a pa. We've been able to reach over three and a half thousand uh, smallholder farmers with about seven million CDs. 
um, in credit so they can invest in their farms and also in additional livelihoods. I interest in